Hello everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel Mission Net Physics Exam. So guys, today in this video, I am going to discuss a very important question of electromagnetic theory. And this is the question based on a very important concept. So this video is going to be a very important video for all the students, those who are going to prepare for the upcoming CSI or Net Physics exam or for the Great Physics exam or any other related exam. So guys, now if I'm going to talk about the discussion which I will do in today's session, so basically I'm going to discuss this question initially and I will let you know about the concept involved in this question and how we need to proceed, how we need to take the steps to solve this kind of question. We are going to consider each and every basic thing during the discussion. So let's just start the discussion and if you are someone who find electromagnetic theory as a subject, difficult subject, so guys, I hope that after watching this video completely, you will find the concept which is involved in this question, a very easy concept and you will have a clear idea about this thing that when you should use this concept, in what kind of question, in what situations. So let's just start the discussion about it and let's talk about it. So guys, basically our question is, a point charge Q is placed symmetrically at a distance D from two perpendicularly placed grounded conducting infinite plates as shown in the figure. Clear? So basically they are talking about this charge Q which is symmetrically present around or you can say away from the two infinite grounded conducting sheets. So they have mentioned it here. See, Q is placed symmetrically at a distance D from two perpendicularly placed grounded conducting infinite plates. Clear? So this is the charge about which they are uh, like they have mentioned in the question. Now next thing, the net force on the charge is. So what they are asking us to find, they are asking us to find the net force on this charge Q. Now guys, the point is, okay, that in this case, the force which will act on this charge will not only be due to the presence of the things you can observe what you are getting here. No, it will be due to the image charges. Clear? Now the point is, okay, from where we are going to get the image charges and in what situations we need to consider them. So basically in this question, we only had like this much diagram which you can see uh, the line which is like regular line I have drawn. Clear? So these two lines were given and the charge was given. Rest of the things are the things which you have to consider on your own. But the point is, when we need to consider, how we will get to know about it that, okay, this is the concept we need to use in the given question. So guys, basically, if any time, if the question is related to the infinite grounded conducting sheet, clear, or the plate, okay, in that situation, we mainly use the image charge method. Now guys, as per this method, what we do? We consider the image charge clear at the equal distance on the other side of that grounded conducting infinite sheet. Clear? So in that case, what happened? In that case, when you are going to consider that image charge, clear? So in this case, the charge should be opposite. Clear? So if it is Q, it should be minus Q. Now the point is, how many charges we need to consider? So guys, depending on this uh, plates or the infinite grounded conducting sheets present there, you will consider the number of image charges. If I'm going to say, see, if you are having just a straight line, clear? So in this case, uh, you will have the charge present here, which is going to be, we can say plus Q, clear? So in this case, you just get one image charge, which is going to be at the equal distance. If it is a distance D, at the same distance D, you will also get the charge minus Q. Clear? Now, next thing guys, if we are going to talk about next thing, in this case, what has happened? In this case, how many uh, like sheets you have? Just one infinite grounded conducting sheet. Clear? So you just get one charge or the image charge. But in this situation, how many uh, we would say the grounded conducting sheets are present? That's two. And what is the angle between that? That is 90 degrees. So 360 upon 90. Clear? So what you are going to get? 4. So total charges will be, the image charges will be 4 minus 1. That means 3. Clear? Similarly, in this case, you can see the angle was 180 degrees. Clear? And in this case, 
the 360 upon 180, that's going to be 2, clear? And which means you are going to get 2 minus 1, that means only 1 image charge. So whatever value you are getting from here, you just need to subtract 1 from that and that will tell you about the number of image charges you need to consider. Clear? So in this case, you can see that we are considering the 3 image charges, okay? And you can see that how we are considering that. See, this is infinite grounded conducting sheet. This is a charge plus Q, which is the actual and the real charge. Clear? So, on the other side of this sheet, at the same distance D, clear, since it was at the distance D, at the same distance D, we will also consider another charge, which is minus Q. Clear? Then, again, you can consider that its image charge will also be present here. So, that's going to be plus Q. So, you can even consider it in this manner, just to understand it more clearly. Or, you should know that if we are saying that the three image charges will be present, then how they will be present. Clear? So, guys, in this case, its image charge here will be minus Q, opposite, but at the equal distance. Clear? And for this one, even if you will consider this as the image charge, it's going to be minus Q and then plus Q. Clear? So, that's how you can easily make it. Now, guys, after knowing about this thing that how many image charges will be there, so in general, you can use the formula I've told you, like, just divide 360 with the angle between the infinite grounded conducting sheets which are given to you. Clear? And subtract 1 from that value. And that is going to provide you the idea about the image charges. Okay? Next thing. After knowing about the image charges, since, uh, since these many image charges are there. Okay, now what do you need to do? You need to find the force due to all the charges present on this one. Clear? And depending on the question, you will just find it out. So basically, if I'm going to talk about minus Q and plus Q, there will be a particular direction of the force. Clear? So, and similarly for minus Q and plus Q. So if it is towards minus Q or if it is towards minus Q in this case, clear? So in this case, what is going to happen? In this case, both are going to be inward, okay, like this direction and this direction. So, in that case, we need to find the resultant of, of both the forces acting on this, clear? Because on the same charge, if the force is acting in this direction and in this direction as well, so its resultant will be somewhere here, clear? If the force will be acting in this direction and I would say in this direction, then the resultant will be somewhere here, clear? So, that's how you will consider the resultant. And similarly, due to this charge, some force will act on this charge. So, finally, at the end, you will find the net force acting on this charge after getting to know about the resultant, whether this or this. Okay, depending on the sign, you can easily consider it. So, it's going to be this case right now. Okay, next. When you will get to know about the force due to this charge at this one, at the end, just simplify this resultant and this charge, uh, the force due to this charge. Clear? And that's going to be your final answer. So some of the values also I have mentioned in this figure. I hope that they are getting clear to you. And I hope that the discussion which we have done in today's session will be clear to everyone. Also guys, whenever you are going to solve this kind of questions in the exam, be careful about this thing that what they have mentioned. So basically they have mentioned here in the units of 1 upon 4 perhaps alum not. That you have to keep in mind that okay, they have already mentioned it. They are already considering it. So they may give you that thing present in the options as well which you will not consider again because they have clearly mentioned it here. Clear? So guys, I hope that the discussion which I have done in today's session is going to provide you a very clear idea about this thing that when you will use the image charge method and how you will use it, how many image charges will be there. So whenever you are having this kind of question, you need to find the net force or whatever they are asking you to find due to the image charges as well. So guys, I hope that this video is going to help you all to prepare well for the exam. Also guys, I, I want to provide you like one more important information in this video that is related to the Unacademy Plus subscription. So if you want to attend the more regular live classes and if you want to get the guidance by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your exam preparation then guys, what is going to happen? Like you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription, okay? And you can attend the live classes, more regular live classes, many hours of live classes, okay? By the top educators for your exam preparation. Also guys, after taking the Unacademy Plus subscription, you will be able to get so many benefits like weekly quizzes, doubt clearing sessions, uh, PDF of important notes, mock tests, 
and the recordings of the live classes will also be available to you so that you will not miss any important topic and any important point even in case when you are not able to attend the live class at any point of time so you can watch the recordings and you can cover up those things along with this guys the doubt clearing sessions will also be there so if you have missed some of the sessions or even if you are revising the things or the concepts and later on, on you are finding like okay this is something which is not clear to you and you want the educator to talk about that so your doubts will get cleared during the doubt clearing sessions so guys all these benefits you can easily get just by taking the unacademy plus subscription and there are many important courses going on on unacademy plus for your exam preparation which will help you all uh, to prepare very well for your exam and to score good marks in the exam so guys if you want to take the subscription you can and get all these benefits i have told you along with all these benefits guys you can also get one more benefit that is use the referral code anjali arora in which you just need to write a capital and all other alphabets in small clear and no space in between and just by writing this referral code and by applying it you will get the 10 percent discount in the total subscription amount so which will be very much helpful for all of you guys okay and to take the subscription what are the steps you need to follow so guys step number one is you can download the unacademy learning app step number two is log into the app select your goal goal means like csir you just see net okay next uh like if you are preparing for csir net physics exam after this guys uh, you will have three lines presented at the left hand side corner just click on those three lines then click on plus and then click on get subscription and follow the further steps so that's how you can easily get the unacademy plus subscription and you can attend more regular live classes you can get the guidance by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your exam preparation so thank you very much everyone for watching this video till the end still if you will have any doubt or any query you can just comment below this video and i will try to clear that also guys i hope that each and everything is clear to you so thank you very much for watching this video till the end thank you